Okay, back again. I'll keep this one brief, unlike the last one. I just played it for the first time. The Rolling Stones, number two. UK, Louise. This is my impression. This album is is like a is like the 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 better of the of the two out of the twelve by five and number two, in my opinion. After hearing this, not not so much for the sound, but the consistency of these tracks on this number two UK release is the perfect follow-up to the very first Rolling Stones album, or in America it was called England's newest hit makers, the Rolling Stones. So if you play the first Stones album, mostly covers, one or two originals. This one's mostly covers, one or two originals. It sort of makes sense as the next album. It, it, it follows on. They're very bluesy, for sure. Um, uh, though I noticed the pain in my heart is on Rolling Stone number two, but I think it's a different version to... This is a different... I'm sure it's a different mix. And there was another one here I've heard on here as well. Um, I can't remember which one it was, but they sound like they're, they're different mixes to the, uh, or a different take, I should say, um, to the US and Australian 12 by 5. Okay, I will, before I mention something else, this sound wise kicks this is butt. Absolutely beats it. The sound quality of this Australian pressing is absolutely astonishing. It's mono. Um, and like side one on this, around and around, confessing the blues, empty heart. That They're on that five by five thing. And you can hear it's a different recording session to, to you know, something's happened here where there are different mixes involved. These just leap out of the, the speakers, even back then. In early 65 when I bought it, the sound of around and around, it's just like, wow, it was big. Of course, around and around is not on this, so that's sort of silly to say that. But um, all I can say is this sounds better, much better than the UK release, though I do sort of prefer the UK release uh, listing of tracks. It's more cohesive. It's very, um, very blues oriented. Um, this one is, I don't know, it's getting a little bit of soul creeping in here, a little bit of, uh, you know, other influences. Um, yeah. Uh, I'd say out of the two, I love the Aussie 12 by 5 for the, for the quality of the sound record, of the sound. But I actually prefer the UK uh, track listing. It's um, even though the sound is a bit more, the sounds more uh, it hasn't got a blanket over it, but it's just not as lively. I mean, it's lively, but it's it, the sound on that is just really good. On this, it's you know the typical Stone sounds. So, um, so the winner is out of my little ringwear competition. The winner is, it's a tie in a way, because they're both great albums. What can I say? You know, I haven't played them in decades. It's, um, it's really good to hear them again. Okay, the sound quality of this one is pretty good. Uh, but there's something I just noticed on this. and I, Oh, hurry up, Condo. Hurry up. Something I just noticed. This has got the uh, withdrawn um, blurb on the back. I know this was controversial at the time. And I think that this was on the back of the December's Children US album, which I used to have. Uh, but this is the one where it says, you know, it's got the blurb talking about the Stones, written by Andrew Lou Goldham, their, their uh, first um, manager. Uh, this, this, this was banned or withdrawn at some stage because it said here, this is the Stones' new disc within 
cast deep in your pockets for loot to buy this disc of groovies and fancy words. If you don't have the bread, see that blind man, knock him on the head, steal his wallet, and lo and behold, you have the loot. If you put in the boot, good. Another one sold. That's what it was banned for. That, that, I love that. It's so cool. But, uh, I, I, wow. Because I used to have the American December's Children album, which is a bloody awful album. It's a total hodgepodge of, you know, throwaway tracks and, and it's like with the latest single, which happened to be Get Off My Cloud. It just was a, a huge sonic nightmare of an album, but it had their best album cover. But the one I had, the US copy, actually had that blurb on the back of the December's Children. This And here it's on the back of Rolling Stones number two. Holy crap, this is collectible. Because I know that was re removed. I know it was. Because people complained about it, you know, about beating up a blind man and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I played it. Interesting. Next up, to finish up today, I haven't played this for many, many, many a year. After all this revolter stuff's finally died down, I'm going to play my original UK revolter. Coming up. Okay, guys, take it easy.